Welcome to a Blender Geometry Notes tutorial. In keeping with the season, I will show you how to add a layer of procedural snow on every object in Blender. At first, make a duplicate of the object of your wish. Then go in the Geometry Node Editor and create a new group. Add a Distribute Points on Faces node and shoot up the distribution, in my case 3500. After that, add an Instance on Points node and connect an Icosphere node to it to instance a mesh on all scattered points. Reduce the radius of the Icosphere. The scale is too uniform, so add a random value node and connect it to the scale of the instancing node. Now the points are scattered and instanced on the whole mesh, but for snow we only want the faces which are looking upwards. For that we use a bit of math. If we create a vector which is looking upwards along the z-axis and calculate the dot product of all vectors and our upfacing vector, we can make a selection so that the points are only scattered on the rather upfacing faces. So we create our own vector with a combined XYZ node. We get all the normal vectors of all the faces with the normal node. With a vector math add, I can adjust the angle how much the desired faces have to look upwards. And with another vector math, we can finally calculate the dot product between the vectors. Connect the result to the selection plug of the distribution node. To convert the instances to a real mesh geometry, we need a Realize Instances node. After that you can set the material for the snow with the Replace Material node. I don't know why the Set Material node doesn't work, maybe a bug of early Blender 3.0. Okay, for now the snow looks more like styrofoam. To smooth it all out, we want to remesh the whole snow mesh, which we can do now because we converted the instances with the Realize Instances node. After we remeshed the snow with a modifier, we are basically done. You can see now that the snow lies always on top of the geometry we defined at the beginning of the geometry nodes modifier. Some things look unnatural around the eyes. I fix this just by deleting the inner eye geometry. And if you still have some spots, and just want to get rid of them, you can just apply both modifiers and delete the geometry by hand. And we are finished. Have fun covering your meshes and see you soon.